or good God's morning to you. Good God's morning to you. I pray all is well with you this morning. That you're having a blessed and beautiful day. Amen. On this great uh, Wednesday. 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 Wednesday is refresh and refuel. Wednesday. Refresh and refuel. So, get yourself in some Bible study tonight. Get you some refresh, refreshing word. Get yourself refueled. Because you got to stay prayed up. You got to stay on it. You got to stay on it, beloved. Stay with it. Good God's morning to you. Let's get our scripture for this morning. It's coming from Isaiah 9 and 6. Isaiah 9 and 6. And it says, For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Well, beloved, looking at that text this morning, it says, "Run to us a child is born." You know, um, this particular child, this particular Jesus, uh, he bore a lot for us. And mean a lot to us. If you look at the bottom of that, it says, And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Beloved, how did they know that he was going to be called that? <laughs> how did they know that he was going to be called that? It wasn't because Jesus, uh, 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 when the angels came and said, You know, you shall name him uh, Jesus. You know, is he will be called, you know, this, that, and that. Okay, this is this is what you got to get this morning. He is called that because to us, he means that. Say it again. He is called that. We call him that because to us, that's what he is to us. When we're alone, can't talk to nobody else, he becomes the wonderful counselor. Now, granted, now he gives advice, and sometimes we want to listen, but he gives it. The mighty God. When we need somebody to help us, who who does he become? The mighty, mighty God. Good God Almighty. Y'all know how y'all say things. Come on now. The everlasting Father. You know, some, some of us don't have fathers. You know, some of us, you know, he said, I'll be the father to the fatherless. He becomes that role in your life. The Prince of Peace. When you study about Jesus, you'll understand. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. And so, therefore, he becomes the Prince of Peace. He He is peace. And so, if I'm, my mind is on him, he is peace to me. He is what we know and have relationship with him to be. What is your relationship with him today? What is your relationship to the son that was given? What is your relationship? He carries a heavy, heavy burden. The weight of this, the world, the government is on his shoulders, but he's not too busy to talk to us, to be our counselor. He's not too busy to be the mighty God to every one of us. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not too busy to be our everlasting father. The father that won't turn the back. The father that will be there no matter what. The father that you never had. That's he right. is it. The prince of peace. No matter how busy God is, aren't you glad that he is what he has been and what he will continue to be to you? That's aren't you right. glad about it? I know I am. Amen. Praise God. Good God's morning to all of you. If y'all don't hear it by now, Lady Karen is in the car with me this morning. <laughs> Hello, honey. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> all right. So good God's morning to you, beloved. Let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace and your love. We thank you for your mercy. God, we thank you for who you are to us. For God, you are a, the everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace. God, you have been the wonderful counselor. And God, you are the mighty God. And Lord, we thank you 
for the relationship that we have, what we know you as. God, many of us don't know you as the same thing because we are diff in different walks and we have different concerns and different issues. But God, you are faithful to each and every one of us. And for that, we thank you, Lord. That whatever way we know you, God, you are that and you are 100%. God, we give you glory today. We thank you for this opportunity to commune with you and hear your word. And God, to hear, oh God, uh, 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 the word from you and to fellowship with our fellow brothers and sisters. And Father, I pause this morning to pray for two individuals, Cassandra Smith and also Shannon Bennett. Amen. Father, I pray for them in Jesus name. God, you know all about it. And I pray that you become the healer, the miracle worker that they are needing you to be now in this hour in Jesus name. Father, we rebuke anything that is not like you. God, we rebuke anything that the devil is trying to do. Father, we thank you in advance for the victory because in you we have victory in Jesus Christ. And God, we give you praise, glory, and honor. Strengthen them and God, strengthen their family in the name of Jesus. And God, we're expecting great and mighty things. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless those who are watching this morning. Bless those who might have already been on and bless those that who will watch this. Oh God, that they too can talk about the relationship that they have with you. You being a mighty God, you being a wonderful counselor, you being the everlasting father, you being the prince of peace, God, you yes. being the healer, you being the way maker, you being the miracle worker, God, yes. you, 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 Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor this morning, and we give you all thanks in Jesus' name. Amen yes. and amen. Well, good God's morning to all of you. Bless the Lord, oh, our soul. And all that is within us. Good God's morning to all of you. Good God's morning. As I said, First Lady is here with me. So good God's morning. Y'all say hello to First Lady, even though uh, she is not on the uh, the thing here. She She's live and in color this morning. Amen. Brother Kenny, God bless you. Sister Gurley, uh, Hannah Gurley, God bless you this morning. Good God's morning to you. Renee, Rennie, I'm sorry. Rennie and Jessica, good morning to you. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Sister Woods. Good morning to you. Amen. That's right. He is your peace. Stay in peace with him. Keep your mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning, Shelley. Good morning, Sister Shaquita Johnson. Shaquita. Shaquita. Please forgive me. Sister Johnson. Good morning. Good morning, Keter. Good morning, Sister Ruby Lennon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good God's morning to all of you. You all have a blessed and a beautiful day. It is Wednesday. Join us tonight for our refresh and refuel uh, Wednesday night. Amen. For those of you who are watching and, and a part of the church, remember uh, um, 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 uh, rehearsal. <laughs> I had to think about it. rehearsal 530. All right. All right. Otherwise, we'll see y'all at 630 for Bible study, refresh, and refuel. Tonight, we are going to talk about something. We're on the subject talking about praying until something happens. Tonight, we're going to be talking about that something. We just don't want anything. When we pray, we just don't want to be praying for anything and just be, you know, flapping, flapping off at mouth, just praying. You know, we, we have specific things that we ought to pray about and consider when we're in prayer and when we're praying until something. What is that something happens? What is that something? All right, let's talk about it tonight. I'll see y'all tonight for another good, for another uh, refresh and refuel. And if not, i see y'all tomorrow for a good God's morning, 8 a.m., same time, same place. Good God's morning to you. God bless you. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. Hey, good morning to you. Good God's morning to you.